All right, third time's a charm. We're going to try it one more time, and if this doesn't work, then uh, I guess I'm supposed to have an early Friday off. I don't know. Um, here we go. All right. I feel like third time's a charm. Now the question is if we can get everybody circled back up. There we go. Uh, Justin, good morning, brother. Angela, you're back. Wendy, short stuff, you're back. Daisy, you're back. Yay. Say hi to Zach. I know he's driving the car because he won't let you, right? Uh, made him smile. Uh, Rini, good morning. Third time's a charm. Frank, uh, I think Frank might still be on the other one. Uh, spread the word, those of you that still have access to that other one, tell everybody we're relaunched, so uh, much better. Good morning, Alyssa. Matt and Judy, good morning to you. Tracy, good morning. Uh, Katie, good morning to you. Uh, Randy, good morning. Ann and Guy, got you back over here. All right. Yeah, I just had to uh, um, push the magic uh, buttons or something. I don't know. We're back in business. We're back in business, which is good because we're going to wrap up. Uh, we're going to wrap up doing uh, Luke this morning leave you with a little bit to read on your own over the weekend um, and then uh, we're gonna be starting in and kind of having a transition week so um, before we get uh, jumping into the passage um, I just want to let everybody know um, that there's no Jesus time on Monday I'm gonna be uh, on a mountain um, and uh, backpacking with my kiddos and some friends and uh, hopefully trying to hit a couple 9,000 footers so that's going to be fun um, and uh, so no Jesus time on Monday Tuesday we're starting at 7 a.m. and then next week is going to be kind of a fun transition week for us we're going to share some stories um, kind of some testimonials about uh, uh, how Jesus time has impacted you how it's affected your walk with the Lord um, ways you've seen God at work and knowing uh, that God is real and so we're excited to uh, hear some of those stories and get to share them so you guys can hear from each other and so that's gonna be part of what we're doing next week next week I'm also giving away some stuff we got some Jesus time swag and uh, you got to tune in live to find out more about that next week um, and it's gonna be uh, kind of fun and so um, uh, Ron and Toby Wilson Toby Wilson uh, said something the other day and gave me an awesome idea and so it's real and uh, we're gonna be giving it away next week um, the other thing that next week is gonna be about is transitioning over to the Jesus time group and so we're gonna start getting everybody um, following a Jesus time group as opposed to watching it directly on my personal Facebook page we're gonna get a group built and start getting people uh, like in that group it'll be public so anybody can find it you don't have to do anything special to join it but I'm gonna count on all of you to join and then help us share as well so all right I'm gonna jump in because uh, I want to get through some text and then cut you guys loose because we're already uh, beyond where we were supposed to be for technical difficulties so good morning to lots of you this uh, Friday morning Bobby good morning to you I think you're new uh, let us know where you're watching from. That would be awesome. Uh, Ricky uh, Kana, Kana, you're also new, I believe. So let us know uh, where you're watching from. That would be uh, really cool. Waylon um, and uh, Jim Baldwin and Randy Pellegrini. Again, some new guys watching, tuning in. Good morning to you all. Um, let us know in the comments where you're watching from. That would be awesome. Uh, for all, those of you that are new, Jesus time, uh, normally I don't talk this much in the beginning. Um, Jesus time is just a time for us Monday through Friday, uh, beginning next week after Labor Day. We're, we're starting at 7 a.m. And uh, every morning uh, we just go live at 7 a.m. Uh, we pray, spend a little bit of time in the Word together, kind of chew on a nugget or two of some things to think about, and then uh, cut you loose. And we try to always keep it right in that 15 minutes or less zone, so it's uh, kind of short and sweet and help us all stay consistent together. And there's kind of a fun community of people that watch together, comment, encourage each other. There's a lot of connection and conversation that happens amongst the Jesus Time 
uh, viewers outside of the Jesus time. Uh, so that's really cool. So um, let me pray and then uh, jump into our text and uh, we'll go from there. So God, we love you. We just thank you so much for your word. We thank you for um, making this tech stuff work this morning and the help with that. Lord, just uh, help your word teach us this morning. Encourage us and continue to help us become more and more like your son. Let's pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so we got some text. I'm going to read uh, a good chunk of it, and then I'm going to leave you all with uh, a little bit to read on your own to finish Luke over the weekend. And so this is post-resurrection. Jesus is resurrected, um, and this is uh, Luke 24, verse 13. It says, that same day, two of Jesus' followers were walking to the village of Emmaus, seven miles from Jerusalem. As they walked along, they were talking about everything that had happened. And as they talked and discussed these things, Jesus himself suddenly came and began walking with them. But God kept them from recognizing them. He said, what are you discussing so intently as you walk along? They stopped short, sadness written across their faces. Then one of them, Cleopas, uh, replied, you must be the only person in Jerusalem who hasn't heard about all the things that have happened here the last few days. What things, Jesus asked. The things that happened to Jesus, the man from Nazareth, they said. He was a prophet who did ma uh, powerful miracles, and he was a mighty teacher in the eyes of God and all the people. But our leading priests and other religious leaders handed him over to be condemned to death, and they crucified him. We had hoped he was the Messiah who had come to rescue Israel, and this all happened three days ago. Then some uh, women from our group of his followers were at the tomb early this morning, and they came back with an amazing report. They said his body was missing, and they had seen angels who told them Jesus is alive. Well, some of our men ran out to see, and sure enough, his body was gone, just as the women said. And then Jesus said to them, You foolish people, you find it so hard to believe all that the prophets wrote in the scriptures. Wasn't it clearly predicted that the Messiah would have to suffer all these things before entering his glory? And then Jesus took them through the writings of Moses and all the prophets, explaining from all the scriptures the things concerning himself. By this time, they were nearing Emmaus and at the end of their journey, and Jesus acted as if he was going on, but they begged him, stay the night with us since it's getting late. So he went home with them. They sat down to eat. He took the bread and blessed it. Then he broke it and gave it to them, and suddenly their eyes were opened and they recognized him, and at that moment, he disappeared. And they said to each other, didn't our hearts burn within us as he talked with us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? And within the hour, they were on their way back to Jerusalem. They found the eleven disciples and the others who had gathered with them, who said, uh, The Lord has really risen. He appeared to Peter. And then the two from Emmaus told the story of how Jesus had appeared to them as they were walking along the road, and how they had recognized him as he, as he was breaking bread. And just as they were telling about it, Jesus himself suddenly, standing there among them, Peace be with you, he said. But the whole group was startled and frightened, thinking that they were seeing a ghost. Why are you frightened, he asked. Why are your hearts filled with doubt? Look at my hands. Look at my feet. You can see that it's really me. Touch me and make sure that I'm not a ghost because ghosts don't have bodies as you see that I do. And as he spoke, he showed him his hands and feet. Still, they just stood there in disbelief, filled with joy and wonder. And then he asked them, do you have something to eat? And they gave him a broiled fish and he ate it and watched. All right, and that's close to the end. I'm going to let you guys finish the, the rest of the chapter on your own. And the thing that Nugget wise that uh, kind of tying into what we talked about yesterday and what we're going to lead into next week is that your story is really powerful. Um, when you are willing to open up and share about how you've encountered Jesus, when you've encountered Jesus, um, what it's like to um, know and follow Jesus and experience in him, uh, it makes, it just erodes fear and doubt in others. And so here we've got Jesus appearing to these disciples, walking to Emmaus, and, and as he's appearing to them, they're sharing with him, and he's sharing with them. And when they come to realize that they've just had an encounter with Jesus, they can't wait to go back to Jerusalem to tell the disciples it's really true. He really is real. He really is the Messiah. He actually did resurrect from the dead. Like They can't, they can't wait to go testify that they've had an encounter with the risen Jesus, that he's real. And as they do that, it stirs up the hearts of the disciples and it affirms for them what they were hoping was true. And, and, and so all these things go on. It's just really, really, really encouraging and really cool. And, um, and, and yet, even then, they're still struggling. 
right, with doubt. And here's Jesus saying, hey, here I am. I'm live in the flesh, like resurrected. You know, you can put hands on me and see that I'm not fake. In fact, I'm really hungry. Do you have anything to eat, right? Like, so it's kind of cool. Um, so I just I just think it's a, a great reminder to all of us to to not be bashful about sharing our stories, to not be bashful about sharing uh, good news about God at work in our lives, God at work around us, um, to testify, right? To tell us stories about when we see God working and how God uh, is uh, has come and been real and, and uh, alive and at work in our hearts and our lives and our families and all that stuff. So I think those things are just super important. So. Um, I want you to be thinking about sharing some of your God stories. Um, there's two ways I would love to just ask you to engage uh, and be thinking about engaging this next week uh, for kind of our short transition week. We're just going to do some fun stuff. Um, I would love for you to send me a video clip. Um, you can either just message me on Facebook Messenger uh, or email if you've got it. My email is really simple. I'll put it in the description, thad at rlcpullman.com. Um, and you could email me a story, um, but I would really like to share some uh, videos. And then if you're comfortable going on screen with me, I would love to look at uh, sharing the screen and having some, uh, a couple of folks uh, share a Jesus story, you know, uh, briefly with us next week. So those are some things. Um, and then I also really want to have folks uh, sending some video clips in of uh, how Jesus time has impacted you. Like, would you recommend this to someone else? Um, if somebody was thinking about um, ways to try and uh, grow in their walk with God, would this be something you would recommend? Would this help them? And uh, how has it helped you, right? Your story of how Jesus time has impacted your life and your relationship with the Lord and your consistency in the word, your testimony about this is what other people are going to believe. Like, I'm the pastor guy, so if I say, hey, everybody should watch this, you should be in the Word every morning, they're like, yeah, you're a pastor, you have to say that. But if you say it, and you have influence and connection with the people that you know, they're going to trust your referral way more than me, because most folks don't know me. So, um, so those are some things to be thinking about. Um, I would love to uh, start getting some videos in. You can just send them on Facebook Messenger. Just literally open up Messenger and just send me a video message. Uh, you don't have to know how to do any fancy tech. Um, I'll put my cell phone in here. I'll put my email in there. Uh, and then you all know how to find me on Facebook Messenger. And whatever method is the easiest for you to share your story or testimony um, is how I'd love to... i just love for you guys to get them, get them coming in. All right? And so... Uh, I'll put all that stuff in the description after the video is done. We got a bunch of new people jumping on this morning. Awesome to see you all. Ingrid, good morning to you. Um, and then uh, who else do we have on here? A bunch of new people. Uh, Miss Emma, if you're still watching, up in Canada, good morning to you, friend. Michelle and Rylan, ladies, uh, Team Freckles, you guys are awesome. Good morning. Uh, Brian, uh, Weirges, Weirges, uh, you're new. Tell us where you're watching from, bud. That would be awesome. Good morning to you. Miss Cheryl, good morning to you here in Pullman. Uh, Christy uh, Hake, uh, again, you're new. A lot of new folks on this morning. So thanks for joining us this morning. Let us know where you're watching from. That would be fantastic. Um, and so uh, it was awesome to see a lot of people. Thanks for everybody hanging in there with technical difficulties and a lot longer Jesus time than normal. Uh, so remember, nothing Monday morning, Tuesday morning at 7, and uh, start getting your stories sent in. All right, everybody start getting your stories in. I'd love to get a little something from every one of you, that's, uh, particularly those that have been watching a while. So let me pray for us and get us off and on our way for this Friday. All right, God, we love you. Thank you so much for your word, for the light and uh, guidance that it gives us, the direction that your word gives us um, as followers. Lord, thanks for um, a family of people that uh, want to grow in their relationship with you and that are uh, eager to um, spend time in the word in a, in a faithful, consistent, daily way. Lord, help this uh, spur us all on to be more like your son. Let's pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Y'all are awesome. Have a fabulous long weekend. Those of you that are local at Real Life Church, remember, no church this weekend. 
uh, rest, reflect, embrace Sabbath this weekend. I'll see you Tuesday morning early at 7.